happening, my fellow geeks and geek outs? Welcome to a brand new, very different episode of Cosplay Chris. I've just woken up, it's just after 5.30, and I'm off to Canada, off to beautiful Nova Scotia for Halcon this coming weekend. So, it's gonna be a pretty brutal flight, or should I say flights? It's gonna be Sydney, Toronto, Toronto, Montreal, Montreal, Halifax, so. But I figured I may as well vlog again. I haven't vlogged in so long. Um, so I'm gonna be getting all my shit. I'm gonna get ready, have a shower, get all my shit, have something to eat. I'm gonna drive to mum and dad's and then dad's gonna drop me at the airport. And then we're gonna go from there. I'm really excited. I've never been to Canada before. Canada looks fucking beautiful. So I'm just really looking forward to it and just looking forward to doing an international con again. So for some reason, I always seem to lose my appetite before I do long haul flights. I don't know why, um, might be just nerves, but just like throwing everything into the, uh, the Nutribullet here just for a smoothie. So I've got some protein, got some oats, got some blueberries, got some yogurt, just smash it all down, get it in the body and yeah. Not bad. Okay, we are all packed, ready to go. So in this big fucker here, I've got Pirate Batman, Eddie Munson, Nathan Drake. And in this little one, I've got my civilian clothes. <laughs> like pretty much all that is Pirate Batman armor. And like in the front, I've also got some um, accessories for a panel I'm doing on weathering up cosplay props and stuff like that. So I've got three resin castings of the Samurai Spawn belt buckle in different stages to show on stage and then actually do some like i'm um, bringing shoe polish to canada even though you could probably get it um so doing weathering with that and then doing like rub and buff and just simple stuff but also doing like you know q a and stuff like that so ready to head to mum and dad's and then head to the airport so for like the last week and a bit it's been like torrential rain just miserable hardly any sun but today is no exception beautiful monday morning and it's belting down with the rain, so hopefully the weather's a lot better in Nova Scotia. From what I can see, it definitely looks a lot better. It's gonna be a nice, you know, minimum five degrees, maximum of 13 or 14, so that's my kind of cosplay weather. Alrighty, I'm here, I'm all checked in, so I actually got it wrong. I'm flying to Vancouver, then Montreal, then Halifax. I'm flying to Toronto on the way back. Either way, I'm happy. I'm gonna be crossing off so many, um, so many states in Canada, but I'm going to be staying in the bloody airport. We all checked in, all through customs and security and all that. So weird being here again. The last time I was on a long haul flight was 2019, when I did that film Outlaw Johnny Black. It feels like a lifetime ago. So I still got plenty of time before the flight. Um, yeah, check in was pretty easy. It's it's a little bit busy, but not as packed as I thought it would be for a rainy Monday morning. All right, so we're just about to board. There's the plane behind me. It's a Boeing 777. A lot of people don't know, I'm a massive plane nerd. My favorite planes, the Boeing 777 and the Boeing 747. This thing is a beast of a plane. It's like a Toyota Corolla. You look after it, you service it, it's just gonna keep going. Okay, we've got three hours to go before we get to Vancouver. I'm exhausted. I've slept like an hour. I don't sleep on planes. I can't sleep on planes. And if I do, it's a quick little nap. That's all I've had. So this is going to be a long day. I'm going to sleep so fucking hard when I get to Nova Scotia. But also keep in mind the key to overcoming jet lag is moving and exercise. So I want to share with you some exercise tips that you can do with a toilet of an airplane. Hi, this time to go blood shot. All right, landed safe and sound in Vancouver. It's still dark, it doesn't start, the sun doesn't start to rise till like nearly eight in the morning. Just clear customs, the most delightful people I've ever met for working at customs in an airport. Just about to go through security to my next flight to Montreal. Overall, I'm not feeling too bad, but I think it's adrenaline. Like I said, as soon as I get to Halifax, have a shower, hop into bed, <sighs> comatose. But the sun is 
starting to kind of come up. And the place looks beautiful. It's cold. It's like seven degrees Celsius. All those Canadians are like, that's cute, buddy. So like I said, I got about an hour's sleep. Uh, ended up listening to a lot of Simpson podcasts about episode breakdowns. Watched Happy Gilmore and then watched Super Bad. That was pretty much it. All right, pretty quick turnaround. Now just waiting to board the flight to Montreal. And then a couple of hours there, have some date, have a drink, and then off to Halifax. Just landed in Montreal as the sun's going down. It's beautiful. So I've got three hours to kill. I'm gonna get myself a glass of red wine and something to eat. and geekheads just about to board the last flight now <laughs> i'm so exhausted and that's it i finally landed in halifax the cool thing is we're on a little a bus a220 i think it was and it's brand new and the cool thing was it was actually built in montreal brand spanking new smelled amazing little beast of a thing so we actually had to land in a storm the cloud was so low we were literally 100 meters off the ground and there was still cloud and all of a sudden boom the runway lights were there so I'm gonna get my bags, uh, I've got a car picking me up, head to the hotel, have a shower, and just fucking collapse. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like taking deep breaths, I'm that exhausted. All right, just made it to the hotel room. It's nearly one o'clock in the morning, and I'm out. Okay. Just woke up about 15 minutes ago, just had a quick shower, it's quarter to 10. So I set my alarm for 9.30 a.m., fell asleep at 1.30, so I was in a coma, like just blacked out for eight hours. So what I do whenever I travel, I always try and like force myself to get adjusted to the time zone. So feeling pretty good for now. Um, Howcom was so cool though, they gave me this little gift pack here, with my schedule and all that, and some some little goodies in here, so that's that's pretty awesome. So what I'm gonna do, throw my shoes on. I don't know how cold it is out here. Anyway, we'll see, uh, look at all the fog and all the mist. So I'm gonna go out, just explore, and just, you gotta let light into your eyes. It's like, it's amazing how science works when it comes to jet lag. You gotta let light into your eyes, so it's like, okay, now it's supposed to be daytime, not nighttime, back home. Um, I'm gonna get some breakfast, get a coffee, because apparently seeing breakfast um, relates that to your brain and then your brain's like, okay, it's breakfast time. So we're in a different time zone now. We're gonna switch around. Fucking science, man. So far, this place is gorgeous. It's got like an, I don't know, old timey feel to it. I mean, look at that. Look at that bloody beautiful building right there. It's crazy. Oh, my eyes are so red. <laughs> It's like 15 degrees, but it's like a cool 15 degrees. That's why I'm wearing a shirt. The more I walk, the more in love I am with this place. Like the buildings are incredible. And there's like a nice fog rolling in through, through the CBD. So I just got an Uber to the Halifax shopping center just to have a look around. So I've got to get like a power converter for my laptop to charge my phone. So I've got to like kit bash something together. Um, but apparently across the road, there's a spirit Halloween. I've always wanted to go to a spirit Halloween. I want to see if they've got any Halloween ends mask or Halloween kills mask just for the fuck of it. So it's weird. Whenever I come to a new city, I've always got to go to the, the biggest shopping center and check it all out to see what the differences are uh, compared to Australia. I just, I just scared myself. I thought that was someone standing behind me. Hmm. Yeah, that's more like it. Pardon? All right, I got my PowerPoint converter. So apparently Spirit Halloween is across the road here. But I think I've got to cross a main road. I have no idea how the hell I'm going to do that, but it should just be over here. Okay, I have no clue where the hell this is supposed to be. It says it's supposed to be over there, but it's not. But there's a Walmart here. 
Might do a flick trip. It's gonna get magical, mystical. Don't get scared now. All right, in Walmart, let's see what toys they have. See if there's anything worthy of a custom collectible. But for the time being, yeah, buddy. I mean, it's pretty much the same as what we've got back in Australia. Like, same, same. All right, geeks and geekettes, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up. I'm here safe and sound. I've got a lot of exploring to do. This place is incredible. It's got this nice misty vibe to it. So there's a few comic book shops I wanna check out. I've got to get all the cosplays out. I've got Eddie, I've got Nate, and I've got Pirate Batman. So next vlog is probably going to be getting those out, getting all the details settled and showing you guys the, the ins and outs of Eddie because I haven't even done a full reveal. Like technically this con is the full reveal of Eddie. So everything's just happened so fast. I had to finish him up and then pack it all up with Pirate Batman and Nathan Drake. So Pirate Batman took up the most room. I was nearly over my baggage allowance with it because of that heavy <laughs> leather armor. But honestly, it's so much fun to vlog again. I'm feeling great for now. You watch, I'm gonna hit the 3 p.m. wall, uh, but I just had to like force myself back into a routine with a new time zone and stuff like that. I've never traveled this far before in one go. It's brutal. I have never known tired like this before, but I'm feeling great. So I'm really excited to check this place out. It's absolutely stunning. And of course, I'm fucking stoked for this weekend. It's gonna be so much fun. Guys, wherever you are in the world, please have yourselves an absolute cracker of a day. I hope you will. Hope you're happy. Be merry, be silly. And until next time, geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.